Hello my friends! For a long time I've been searching for the perfect bread for me. A bread that would not have too many chemicals. A bread that would be very good for sandwiches and will remind me of my home. So uh, a friend of mine and I together we came up with this perfect recipe I say. Very easy with just four ingredients that you can make fast and you get a lot of satisfaction you can bake this bread and eat it fresh or you can save it in the refrigerator for a few days or you can even freeze it and and uh, just stick it in the oven later and enjoy it as it was fresh and you can make two loaves of bread follow me in the kitchen and we'll make this bread together so to make the bread we need flour i prepare bread flour unbleached 700 grams of it we need three teaspoons of dry active yeast any brand we need 500 milliliters of water and of course we need one teaspoon or a little bit more of salt i advise you not to eat that much salt so i only use one teaspoon so follow me in the kitchen and let's get started and uh, i hope you'll enjoy this recipe and try it in your home so for the bread we need 500 milliliters of warm water we need three teaspoons of active active dry yeast which brand you like we let it sit for a few minutes it is not necessary but if you want you can add uh, less than a teaspoon sugar we're gonna need 700 grams of flour for the flour i prefer bread flour which brand you like so we have here 700 grams don't be intimidated because in the beginning it's gonna look a little bit scaly but after five minutes of mixing the dough is gonna start looking better so our dough is almost ready and it's still sticky but I'm gonna show you a trick in a minute. I'm gonna add a little flour to a bowl and we'll bring our dough to the bowl and we dip our fingers in the flour and we start poking at the dough we take some more flour from the bottom and then we turn it like this and we poke more holes and we fold it again and we poke more holes and so we do this like five times So our dough looks very soft and nice. We're gonna um, let it rise for a, about an hour. So this is our oiled foil. I'm gonna put a clean towel on top and then I'm gonna take it to the microwave oven and let it rise in it. So here is the dough rising. We're adding some flour to a pan. The dough has raised 
enough for us to work with it that is very soft put some flour in our hand so we can take it out so we put them in we put the dough in the pan and we divide it in two almost equal parts I am going to use a pan special for baguettes that is uh, has a round shape and has holes that makes the heat get around the bread So we have the baking paper and I like to use it for bread and I'm trying to form two oblong loaves or baguette like it's thicker than a baguette if you want thin baguettes you divide it in three even in four but I'm interested to make bread more suitable for sandwiches if you don't have this type of pan but I advise you to buy it. You can use a regular pan and you make a little separation with, with foil or something so the breads will not stick to one another. To get a nice crust we need to create more uh, moisture in the, in the oven so i have this pot with water is the water is warm already and i'm just gonna pour a little bit on the bottom of the oven be careful not to burn yourself just a little bit and so, oh, we set the timer for 30 minutes the oven is 420 degrees The breads are ready, they look very nice, they have a nice crust, so I'm gonna take them out. 30 minutes expired. And here are our beautiful breads, very nice and crisp, let's see, perfect size for small sandwiches. Inside they're very soft. I'm gonna cut a few slices later. I let it cool for a few minutes. I cover it with a cloth and we wait a few minutes to cool down and I'm sure I'm gonna show you how nice it slices. I slice the bread and you can see it's, it has little holes in it so we now can make beautiful sandwiches.